This week on Not Well, Supine, Herniated Discs, World Market, Stop Touching the Soundboard, Burnout Feeling, Obesity Belt, Public Rimming, Dreams, Head Fat, You Know, The Usual. I'm like 100% gay. No, I have to keep it open, babe. We gotta run on full power. We are full and loaded. Hello. Hi. And welcome to Not Well. I'm Bobby. I'm your bushy friend, Jim. He's your little bussy pussy, honey. Oh, period. <laughs> <laughs> I have a soundboard now. Well, I already have our normal soundboard. Oh, yeah, I was like, Girl, fuck. We, but, are, I, we have one, but now you're clicking things on the screen. Yeah, now I have a bonus soundboard. We're so really I'm moving out. I'm pretty busy over here, <laughs> you're okay? Like, you're like, I spent four hours on the soundboard. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I kind of did, you actually. Did. I was like and up here did. tinkering around, yada, yada. Last week, I noticed there was a lot of breath for me. <sighs> I was like, <sighs> so, because I was keeping <laughs> it at my mouth. So I was like, <sighs> So now, no, I kept it at my mouth too, and you can hear it. And when I, I was editing, very nasally. When I was editing, I was like, "Yeah, you did sound a little, uh oh, like you had the Rona." I didn't. Now, now, do you have Rona? I don't. I don't either. I'm cured. I don't think we ever had it, but I thought I had it in Vegas after we finished that's recording why you that were episode. So breathy. I still feel breathy though. I wore the N95 to the weed store just now, <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> I love that. And gotta stay safe. I was like, I can't breathe. Are you wearing your new Spanx? No. Hmm. I think uh, <laughs> I'm my Farron's high. Do you have phasma? Fa- phasma? Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. I do, bitch. Yeah, I knew it. What did you take? <laughs> I just. Oh my God. Listen, this is the sound effect I made, though. I was going to play okay. this and freak you out. Okay. Well. Wow. Thank you. That sounded straight from heaven. Straight from hell. (laughs) Mostly, actually hell, yeah. Like literally from hell. The demons are singing that one. Now, how do we feel this week? (laughs) How was your week? I had a rough like transition, I would say. Back from Vegas? (laughs) Yeah, because I had to work like that night after (sighs) the day after we got back. Yeah. So I was like very tired. At least you had the morning to rest. I had to work that day. I don't know how you did that. You just wake up. <laughs> oh, is you that just, all you have to do for work? You just wake, wake up, up and go to work. You wake up. Flawless. <laughs> yeah, right. No. You were probably sitting there waiting for your baked potato. I was potato. so... Fu- oh, I, I cut baked potatoes out. Oh. Completely. Now I just do chili. Oh, my because God. Because the chili's actually only like six points do on Bay Watchers. Do know about this? That's, no, this uh, so depressing. I haven't had a... Sp- actually, We're in, in a new era. Oh, no. We're in a new era. So I haven't had a potato in probably... Since before, like just slightly Thanksgiving ish. Yeah, I've been trying to cut back. My what? Now, if I would just get the fucking baked potato, you might be fuller it, if later. I, if I just got the baked potato, but I always get more baked potato, <laughs> chili, cheese. No, I usually get the ch- okay crouton, the chili, cheese, baked potato, and a chicken sandwich. So if I would just get the potato, yeah, even then, if it was all jazzed up, right, honey, honey, the jazzled up. You are bejazzled. You're pudjazzled. Oh. Pussy jazzled, honey. Oh, the lips. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I thought you paused there for a second. I'm just like taking it all in right now. Yeah, let's just take it all in. I just can't support that decision. Those are really loud, so I'll be interested to see how that I edits in. I can't support your decision to not eat potatoes anymore. Well, honey... It is what it is. Now, there's some things that I need to say, like little quick beekeep beekeepers. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> I have some beekeepers for you. Give um, me that honey, cunny. honey, honey. Give me that cunny, honey. So, there, uh, like, I'm going to talk shit about another other podcast right now, just for like one moment. I love talking shit. So they're do. <sighs> Okay. So there's a formula on Instagram uh-huh. where you like follow all fellow inst- like other Instagram podcasts, right? Yeah. So you're like, oh, I'm going to follow these podcasts, la la. This group of people, I won't mention their names, which I don't even remember their name, to be honest. So uh-huh. irrelevant. Yeah. Yay. Oops. Sorry. You just went there. You irrelevant. almost have to be those buttons. Oh, yes, baby. Give it to me. I just did, babe. You got the power of Give the Give me buttons. that, honey, honey. So what I think is really funny, though, is that when you go to listen, like, so we all do it, right? Like, when we first came out, we're like, let's put our funny clips and let's like everybody's shit and da-da-da-da-da. Yep. No, I just need to say, now, I've been noticing, like, a lot of males and females, like, they're like, 
they come out with these like they're trying to be edgy sexually. Yeah. And they're all annoying. They're like, oh my god, my fucking pussy. Or like, do you know what I'm saying? They're like, my pussy sometimes doesn't open up when I'm getting fucked. Or I don't even know if they open up. Yeah. When I, I think they. <laughs> Kind of slurp. I don't know. Slurp, slurp over. <laughs> they slurp onto something. I'm not really onto the appendage. I don't know. Now, whether that's a finger, a dick. But have you ever noticed, like, foot. do you ever listen to other podcasts, like, ever randomly, like, just saw turn yeah, on? They're like, it's oh trash. my god, and Melanie, <laughs> I was getting fingered. And it's like, talk, call you, call her, call you, daddy, call her, daddy. Is they've got that covered. There's a genre, like, honey. They've got that. They got covered. it covered. Like, we don't need. We don't need Becky down the street. No, and, and about getting no. You know, and people can say the same thing about a comedy podcast. Podcast. Ooh. But we also have a little flavor. Because yep. yeah. we have a touch of gay, a touch of trans. We got a lot of flavor here. We've got a lot of flavor. There's a lot to work with. There's a lot to work with. Bobby hasn't showered in a long time. No, I have. I didn't shower yet, though, today. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, I can kind of tell you haven't either. Yep. You smell like Thomas. Okay. Oh, so if you so been... I'm bringing that back. Wow. You smell like Thomas. I do not smell like Thomas first. Well, a mm. little crusty. <laughs> mm, maybe. So do I really stink? No. Okay. Thank oh God. my God. I was just kidding. I know, but then Funny. I was like, maybe I really do stink. You would know. Ew, you nasty bitch. You're a nasty pig. But yeah, they're just like all like it's so similar. Sim- it is a lot of similarities. It's like I and don't know. That's why I'm trying with our show to like continue to like keep trying to change maybe things. the straights shouldn't do podcasts. well especially like straight girls who are single and think they're edgy because you're not sweetheart most people are single and that's why you're single oh. oh my god i went on a date and like ronnie touched me in the theater okay listen clara clara funny clara, like no we don't care nobody does i just think it's funny though because that's I just- why ronnie didn't call back like literally exactly. he touched Ronnie. and he left Ronald Ronald was like pass hard pass That's a really now <laughs> have you ever been hard passed uh, I think I have I think I probably have <laughs> I have on Grinder, but not this week oh my god you're such a slut this week I, you're just blossoming I'm I'm going Polly you're my little Polly pal Polly Pocket okay I loved Polly Pocket tell we me pre- about it we pretended to love Mad Max but what we really liked was Polly Pocket Polly Pocket my sister I think had one yeah. did you have one I had one your mom got it for you no I had to have the you Mad stole, Max is that uh, what they were called so it was like a boy version yeah and it oh. like had like alligators but you stole your sister's Polly one was a cobra that would open up and like in the cobra were little it was but I would play with how Polly dumb Pocket. is that toy you I lose everything Polly Pocket. We didn't. Polly Pocket. Wasn't there like a song? I have no idea. Was there? There should have been a show. And her like Honestly, legs would be glued together and she's wobbling around. Polly Pocket. That it, sounds like actually a drag name. Sex toy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now to the stage, Polly Pocket. <laughs> she comes out of a shell. Yeah, like, like a clam. <gasps> That's You're onto something. I'm going to start a drag career. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So anyway, I thought that was very interesting to like. You're going through other podcasts. You're like, this is. But I'm just like, no, and I'm not like a critic, and I'm not a professional. But like, just I hear the same. It's like this whiny girl, like sexual sounding. I'm I'm raw and real, but really, Samantha, you not real. You got all A's. Okay, this semester you didn't fuck anybody, but you're gonna talk on the mic like you're some whore that goes out. (laughs) Some whore. Like, what? <laughs> We're not like the other guys. Whore. What did you take? You took 10 milligrams? Yeah, I did. what you said? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. You, yeah. Like, okay. We hear you. Now Now we hear you. We heard you. We heard you the first time, bitch. We- Whoa, girl. That's good oh. enough. I was trying to. T- <laughs> so usually sometimes when I do like something where it's like you disagree. This okay. is my move. Ready? I'm not actually a fan. You're a little honey. You got to throw that. I'm not actually a fan when you don't like agree. You're with a it. board tickler. I kind of love soundboards. I can tell. I yeah, think it's your new hobby. Yeah, you know what's weird? I was watching another <laughs> situation, and the guy was like, "What's, what's your hobby?" It's another podcast. I don't want to say it out loud. Oh, okay. In trouble. Oh, okay. Out and about. Um, and then. Oh. Sorry. I mean, we were before out and about. Just FYI, out and about. We you're, were. They're getting so much clout and so much attention right now, but we were the originals and I don't give a fuck. But anyway, I do the cameraman. They were talking around. They're like, what's your hobby? Like, what is your hobby? Okay. And the camera, it used to be this, but now I get paid for this. And I was like, oh no, how scary. If your hobby does become a profession, then what? Then you have nothing to do. Then what is your outlet? 
None. Masturbation. That's probably, yeah, that's it. Unstable sexual health. Oh, that's me. Are you being unstable? I feel like I am a little bit. I'm kind of worried. Now, did you get any pussy or dick in Vegas? Exactly. That's the problem. Oh, you didn't? Or you I'm didn't. not actually a fan. Oh, no. I didn't. You didn't get any? Didn't get a single thing. Not even a finger. I didn't either, and I had a pass to touch. We just wasted our time there, I would have to say. I we, did, we spent a lot of time recovering. And honestly, that's our, that's it was... our fault. And... <laughs> now... <laughs> the truth's coming out, everyone. No, it's the a... The trip was a bust. It was like... No, it wasn't a bust. No. It just was... We went really fucking hard on Friday. Too hard. Like we started drinking at 10 and didn't stop until <laughs> 1. And in between, we took a nap. That's 10 a.m. I drank, oh, I had 35 milligrams worth of weed that day. <laughs> so like did. I literally put my body through hell and then woke up the next day like, why do I feel weird? <laughs> You're like, I have COVID. I'm sweating. <sighs> it, 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 I'm shitty. Now, my hangover was a little bit like COVID, but I guess that <laughs> kind of is what a COVID. COVID is like a hangover kind of. It's just like a hangover. That's it. The thing about it, headache. Headache? Check. Check. Coughing because acid reflux. Check. <laughs> which, P.S., before I started drinking today, which is, this is my first one, before you got here, I took a, which you're not supposed to take it unless you're eating, but I took it anyway, a dairy pill, a lactose intolerant <laughs> pill. Yeah. You're supposed to do it when you're like actually are eating something yeah, dairy. I thought it was, I needed to coat my stomach. And then I was like, <laughs> now. But it's only for lactose. Right. So then I'm like, well, I had mac and cheese. Oh. So I'm like, let me just dump this. But you're supposed to do it as you're eating it. I guess it could coat things. So you're whatever. a little late. I'm late. So then I was like, well, also, I need to take like my, another acid reflux medicine on Pepsid. top of my like. Yes. So you take your PPI and now you're taking Pepsid on top of it. Yes. We've entered a new realm. Well, it's only sometimes when I'm drinking. Right. I can't drink anymore. Oh my god. God. I'm not actually a fan. Oh, you aren't a fan. No. Whoa, girl, fuck. (laughs) I can't believe you can't drink anymore. What are we going to do? I mean... Oh, sorry. I have all these fucking things I just was like, what is this now? It says alert. I feel like we need to talk shit. I feel like we've started down this path. Okay, so let's just talk shit today. Who is that? Should we talk shit well, about? I, I need you to read something because you said you had some things you want to talk I do. about. I, I mean, do. I have tons. I wrote down a ton. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> the first thing on here is health coach for insurance is mortifying. Now, <laughs> did you have to get health coach? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you were health coach. I got- you're in that category. I knew it. This is the first year of really? being health coach, really? so yeah, I, I wasn't it. really sure um, what it was all about. But this bitch writes me. First of all, I've been trying to get. On- <laughs> I cannot. Whoa, girl! <laughs> this bitch writes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's making money off you. You're her workhorse. Oh, honey. She's like, he'll never get skinny. I can coach him every year. I'm like, okay. So anyway, I was trying to get a hold of him for the longest time. I finally was like, can you just email me? Because I can't get a hold of any. Like, I have to work during the day. And they oh, don't do work. you? So we have the same business hours, though. You're on so, Instagram like, a lot. Uh, so you're like, email me. And she's so it's like, like, email me. So they e- <laughs> so this bitch reaches out. No offense to her, because I'm sure she's skinny and hot. <laughs> or, but she she was like, hi, Robert. I'm going to be your health coach, Stephanie. Do you want to <laughs> do you want to talk about diabetes? <laughs> Pre-diabetes, weight loss. There's like all this other shit. Mental health care. Oh or she's calling you out. She literally was she's like, calling I was you like, out. so you basically just read my problem. She's like, I saw your BMI. Anything you want to talk about? She's like, do you want to talk about exercise and life changes? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fat fuck, Bobby. Well, that's how I you feel. Talk about- yeah. I'm like, okay, so I had a bad day with my blood work. Okay. <laughs> also, I just found out that I've been taking B12, which I know I've known I have been. Oh. But I got a blood test for my sleeping and my oh, B12 no. was high. Just a little bit. And my ferritin was high. Ooh, that's a sign of inflammation. <sighs> I had that earlier. I think it's my lungs. Maybe I have lung cancer. <laughs> Why? Why? I used you... to be a smoker. Oh, I forget. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, but you didn't smoke very long. Yeah, but it was enough. So, 
ferritin is high. This health coach, does she see all this lab work or is she just like, what is she going off of? Like check in? Yeah, it's like my, we have a website that it goes to and they're like, you need help. And it's like, oh. Yeah, I know, I've known that for a decade. And they're like, and so I have to do these health coaching to get my insurance back down. Oh. <laughs> I was like, can I just get a doctor's note? Because I know plenty. Like, I'm actually uncoachable, so sorry. I'm just not a coach material. I don't coach. Put me in coach. And I'm ready to play. So anyway, I was mortified because then I was like, this is so fucking embarrassing because yeah, nobody else. I, there's other people in here that are doing it, but like. I'm like, here I am in my office, like trying to plan my health coaching. And I said, let's talk prediabetes. <laughs> That's what I said. Let's talk. let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Honey, Stephanie. Stephanie's like, mm. she's like this fat fuck. I don't even know it's why. It's going to progress to diabetes is what she wanted to say. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. We can't have that. I know. I'm actually like really I freaked out. I can't have a diabetic friend. No, like, I know. It's I embarrassing. It's enough to have a bald friend. Now you'll. Oh, wait. <sighs> oh, that's my. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. No, that's your burden. You have a fat friend and I have a bald friend. I know. But bald is not, that's the thing. Bald is hot. It can be, but it can also be. You know, be... bald people look so good in hats. <laughs> we really do. There's something. That is a thing. Now, it's a thing. It, it Not only is it covering up your bare head, but it's also it's the warming. way it sits oh. on your head is hot. I don't know what yeah, it because is. because there's no hair. hair coming down. So it like just looks yeah, like it's perfectly You don't look like in. a little kid. Yeah. Like somebody every, put on a hat and you look like I'm like, are you playing baseball in the fifth grade? Like you look terrible. Yeah, true. Is this T ball practice? Yeah, so like nine times out of ten, bald guys that wear hats are hot. I love that you said that with like that's data. Nine it's, times out of ten. And well, you I'm didn't lying. believe me about pink, and now look at the data. The data is spoken for itself. <laughs> pink dick is real. Um I joined a <gasps> ginger blonde like Instagram, so it's constantly like All strawberry pink. blonde pink, All honey. Pink pink. pink. Pink Panther. <laughs> I want that Pink Panther, babe. PP. Pepe. Now, is there. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, nine out of 10 Baldmans are hot. I, I'm going to say, I think it I'm really is true. Because I'm attracted to Baldman. Now. And I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now. I can't with the now. Well, you came in saying I was laughing so hard about the now, and then I'm like, no. Now. And now I'm like, now it's going to be a thing for a second. Sorry, oh, folks. Oh, my God. I cannot. <laughs> so, so we were talking about pre-diabetes right so that was my health coach that was my like one thing i wrote down that's horrifying though yeah it was pretty mortifying like i actually don't want to coach like you mentioned i had to really talk on the phone hi yeah stephanie hi she's like what's <laughs> she's like have you eaten your big mac today have you had any food what did you have robert it's like oh no have you had your big mac today yet did you have keep it to one a chicken day. biscuit oh my god that i send Wendy's. <laughs> i send you did sin this week again. Yeah. What'd you have? I had a chicken biscuit, but guess where? Chick Fil A. Oh my God! You went to Chick Fil A. Here's the problem. Okay, can I just say something? I'm trying to help the queers that work there. Okay. So you got to go there and be like, it's better out here. But also, oh. I'll take a chicken biscuit to go. Are there queers trapped? In have you ever Chick -fil -A? been to a fucking Chick Fil A? Every guy that works oh, at Chick Fil A. Closeted. Have a great day, sweetheart. You're like, girl. Whoa, girl, fuck. Whoa, Wait. girl, fuck. Is there like a plan I don't know about? Have people, have queers infiltrated Chick-fil-A? We're taking it back. So we're, we've snuck Our, in. We're going to take it. We've snuck in. This is a revolutionary gay they war. But they don't know. No. Like the overlords don't know. No. They, but they the, graduate a new queer every year because the teenager that was working there in the, in the delivery. <laughs> have a blessed day. Do you hear my mouth, how dry it is too? It's like. Cotton mouth. It's cotton mouth king. So, okay. So you went to Chick-fil-A. That's really evil. Sorry. I do have to admit something as well since we're, oh, are we gonna, uh, <laughs> since we're admitting admit something. So I was at the grocery store a couple months back and I saw the Chick-fil-A sauce on the shelf. <laughs> and you got so it. I bought it we're because I've never had it, but there's also, I've never had it. Now I'm like, I'll dip my vegan chicken nuggets in it. It's so but it's a good sauce. It's like it's really honey good. barbecue and Is it like the honey mustard sauce? and then a little. Yeah. Yeah. The Chick-fil-A sauce. Yeah. Now, don't talk to me about the points, but. Now, have you had the Polynesian sauce? No, honey. Change my life. So I also had been to the <laughs> store at some point and I might have gotten that also. I hope I you have some today. I do. I have Polynesian sauce downstairs. Oh, give me a spoonful. Spoonful of sugar. <laughs> it, it probably is sugar. It, it's actually French dressing and honey. That's it. Mm, there's some other little 
quaffs of things. It's like, what is There's some preservatives about that? <laughs> <laughs> Little quaffs of anti-LGBTQ Now, let's hate. get honest. Now, Chick-fil-A is from the South. Is Dr- it? Atlanta. I didn't know that. that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. So. All the worst hate comes yeah, from the South. Yeah, so like. They're like, this is an Oriental, but like to them down there, yeah, they're, they're like, like, oh, is that Oriental? Is that Polynesian? Why does it? <laughs> because you're being can't someone say from that. the South. Correct. That's, that's mean, what they would say. Oh my God, I went back into the Southern. You went back to Southern mode. Like those fucking queer Orientals. <laughs> <laughs> Coriental. Coriental. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, um, oh, fuck. Whoa, Whoa girl. girl. Oh, girl. Fuck. fuck. So we have two sins to. Admit. admit yeah we really are in the chick i don't know where i was going with that but i was just saying i'm a I sinner i love that you're a sinner you chicken biscuit eating whore okay i grew up on him i didn't know <laughs> i grew up on him i can't just give him up mammy used to bring home chicken biscuits from chick-fil-a oh my god that's weekend. like a trans uh parent saying like i've just always known you my whole life is billy it's true it's true and then they're like i can't do it and then i'm like you'll i can't stop be, going to chick-fil-a you'll always be billy to me it's like, fuck you. It's like, Billy's hotter than you, mom. Yep. Because that's usually what happens, folks. And that's the T. And that's the T. Dick. Capital T. <laughs> Tina. That's <laughs> Tina. And that's the Tina. We're going to party. So I, in a similar vein to your health scare. <laughs> oh, no. Did you have a scare? I had <gasps> a health moment. So remember that back pain we were talking about last week? Yeah. And how I said it was gone after I took two ibuprofen. Yeah. It's back. Whoa, girl. Fuck. Like all week. I've had it a lot. <laughs> it's not like to the point where I take medicine, but it's present. Like right now you're uncomfortable? No. Right now I'm fine, which is shocking. It's because you have a little truly. Oh, yeah. Just one sip of truly. One sip of truly does the trick, babe. <laughs> one sip of truly. One sip of truly. <laughs> okay, so this is the embarrassing part. 34, I went to physical therapy. <laughs> oh, honey. I've like, been there, too, unfortunately. Physical so Tell us about therapy. it. Therapy. So I walk in. You know, there's like oh, that's three bonafide. or four 80-year-olds. 80, 80 oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say a cripple. Oh, is that an imp- Oh. <laughs> that's a blessed. Okay, we'll just read. So Abled, I walk a- unabled in. bodied? Yes. Is that what it's called? Unable bodied? Disabled. Unabled. No, disabled. Disabled. Yeah, but there weren't any disabled people. They were just old. Well, you're disabled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bitch. So I walk in, there's like four 80-year-olds doing their thing, you know, bending over, just doing the basics. Oh, I'm like, is this going to be me? And it is. It's me right now. <laughs> you're like, so, is this going to be me? No, honey, it's you. <laughs> it's like me now. So I get this like hot therapist named Brian. Of course, they're always hot. He had to be. And they're either got, lesbian or hot. Uh, I would have taken put the that on the Put that on God. And put that on the data. Nine out of ten bald men <laughs> and the lesbians are hot. Nine, nine out of ten women physical therapists are lesbians. Sorry. That's actually probably it. true because I they're really it. into fitness. Yeah, they were like, they wanted to be a PE teacher, but they wanted to make a little more money. You're right. Something. You're onto something. So Brian has a tucked in polo, long khakis. You can just picture, you know what I'm, uh, you know what I mean by that, I right? Know. And even the undershirt, you know, like that type of situation. So... He's very helpful, very kind, but he's like bend over. So <laughs> you know where about the- all you can have is just your meat. <sighs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> why you're interrupting things <laughs> with your <laughs> shitty soundboard? No, because it went with that. That did not go with that. Yes, it did. You'll see. Hot bro, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> It's bad. I'm just telling you right now. You want in Vegas, honey? I'm not actually a fan. <laughs> Vegas is here, sweetheart. Vegas is here to stay. The bright lights need to be put on this fat ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I am crop right here. Thank God. Yeah, I was like, your leg is out. Like, you can I look see like a right fucking now. lesbian. <laughs> Speaking of lesbian, I look like a fucking... Are you a physical therapist? My name is Pat. Never know <laughs> if she's this or that. It's Pat. Pat. We can do the voice. <laughs> yeah, we all do. <laughs> okay, so listen. Okay, Brian, listening. Brian tells me. Can I just say one thing? Brian tells me to bend over. So I bend over. I can barely get past my knees with my mm-hmm. hands because it hurts my back, mm-hmm. my low back. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Which I never realized because I never bend over that way. Like, I don't stretch ever. You haven't been bottoming. Because I haven't been bottoming recently. Well, usually you just lay, but... I haven't been bottoming for four years, so I haven't bent over in that long. And Brian's like standing behind me, massaging me. He so lays, he's standing behind you? We'll get to assess. Okay. I felt something. 
No, you did fucking not. Nuh-uh. No, I felt pain in my low back. Uh So then... (laughs) (laughs) So then he lays me down on the table, and I'm like, oh my God, what's Now, are you prone or unprone? Unprone! (laughs) I'm unprone. What's the other word? Because Danny Tanner was found that way. (sighs) Who's Danny Tanner? Bob Saget died. Oh. (laughs) I don't know if he died the last time we were on the air or not, or whatever. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) <laughs> Danny Tanner died. I'm like Danny Tanner. Well, no, it said he died like supine, name. and that's what made me think of it. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, supine means you're on your back, right? So Danny Tanner, which is Bob Danny Saga. Tanner, died I'm like, <laughs> in in the movie or in the show. Like what? Well, Danny Tanner died. Well, I guess now he does in the show. <gasps> they have to. They have to. They have to do something. <laughs> they have to do something. <laughs> my god whoa girl fuck. <laughs> okay so danny tanner is dead but yeah i was supine and he's like making adjustment adjustments <laughs> now when you say adjustments what is exactly is he doing when you're supine so your dick is up right is that what we're saying yeah okay and so, that's always a situation and that's a problem and that's always a problem when hands are around your waist and unintentional wiener blood flow exactly Thank completely you. unintentional so then we did this stretch where I'm laying on my back and I put my leg up. Okay, this sounds really sexual. So he starts. So my one leg is up. My ass is like out. Um, Are you in shorts? Yes. Oh, honey. So he's putting his chest on my chest to help with the stretch. And also my hand is touching his chest. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Literally. Stop. Like, I was like, yeah, it was bad. It was really awkward. And he... And then he just starts casually talking to me while he does this. Like, you, I can picture you guys like face to face, nose to nose. Like yeah, he's, he's over like, on top of you. Do you like that? Like, so, so did you grow me. up around here? <laughs> like, no, literally. That's what we were talking about. I'm like, well, I guess like, oh my, that's fucking awkward. So in the end, though, I did feel better and I really appreciate physical therapists and I love Brian Gay. and I can't wait to go back. So did it help though? It did help. Okay. And he gave me stretches to do. I'll do them with you. I used yeah. to do them on the ball. I feel so like old and also rejuvenated. So I did this at 24. Remember oh, my masturbation you story? Th- you were thrusting the pussy. Yeah. The pocket <laughs> pussy. I was thrusting the pocket pussy and I sprained my back or herniated my disc. You herniated disc. Now, have we been to the doctor, the orthopedic doctor? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. So the orthopedic doctor is like the one that looks at your back. <laughs> Your spine. Okay. Orthopedic, right? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, that's the next step for you, though, I feel like. I don't want to do it. I know. That's why I went to physical therapy. I was like, I don't want to take a medicine. I don't want to go do that. When I got my MRI, though, it was most validating and vindictive. Is that a word? (laughs) (laughs) It probably wasn't vindictive, but yes, that's a word. Vindicated. You felt vindicated. Yes, because the whole time, you know me, I... Vindicated! I, I know, what's the song? I'm a sauna. That's what I, that's how I got the name. It's like, take you back Sunday. <laughs> She's, oh yeah, okay. Thank anyway. you for that performance. <laughs> so you got an MRI, I don't... Yeah, and it, and you could see the herniated disc. And so, so I was like, so like, I was like, look guys, look everybody, here's my herniated disc, just in case you decided to doubt me the past three years of this fucking pain. You're like, to all my haters. It's true. Oh, <laughs> it's true. No, nobody believed believe me. They oh, thought really? I was being hypochondriac. Oh, you're fine. I'm like, I literally can't get out of bed. <laughs> okay, now that might be an exaggeration. Oh, no. That may have been fake. I, oh, my I cousin, can't get out of bed. My cousin had to pick me up off the side. So how did your cousin pick you up? Well, no, I was standing... I literally, Are you in a family of giants? No. Oh, my God. That's the worst pain, though, ever. I'm thinking about it right now. I don't even want to think about it. But I was driving to go pick her up. Okay. And my back fucked up. I had physical therapy that day, so I blamed it on the physical therapy. I was like, something's happening. Oh, no. They probably thought I was a... I was like, I need drugs now. <laughs> oh, yeah. They thought you were crazy. So, anyway, I was like... Sure. I was picking up my cousin at the airport because she was going to look for a house that weekend. And I was going to... So, I was picking her up. And... I had to pull over because I was like, I got to stretch my back. My back is hurting. I got to get out of this car because I was in traffic for a long time. Believe. So I get out of the car. I can't get back in the car. Like I can't physically. My body will not allow me. You couldn't fold up. No, I could not sit like I could not. It was like the scariest thing I've ever Weird. It was such a tight feeling. So I had to then go 
can I cab you to where I'm at on the interstate <laughs> to then drive my big fucking truck, my family cab truck. You were going to lay in the bed of the truck. I jumped in the back seat and she had to drive this huge truck through Atlanta traffic in the middle of like, and her first time, like, coming and visiting to go like look for a place so much anxiety about this like i hate she had it. to drive me all the way home no and i'm laying in the back seat screaming at the doctor and <laughs> and the physical therapist like yeah i'm fucking hurting i need drugs and they gave them to me that's the only way i could get up this is before the opioid epidemic i know this was during like this is prime time babe i had so many pills it's You're not like i'm gonna take heroin if you don't i mean me I, drugs. I used to get them so much i'd have like extras just from like no no uh, yeah, in case. Just in case. Oh, I spray because I used to sprain my ankle too, a couple of times. <laughs> I didn't use to like on purpose, but like <laughs> I used to sprain my ankle. I used to sprain like, my ankle. What? You mean when I was, you were moving more, playing basketball? Yeah, <laughs> so basketball, basketball. So anyway, now, now, huh. down on that. How do we go down <laughs> on it, honey? It was simple. No, girl, <laughs> now. I don't even know how we got to where we're at. That's what I'm I saying. I feel like we just like, did like a, a run up a mountain. Now we just hit the top and we're like, okay, so how do we do that? Like, how did we, we went on a health kick. Yeah. It just went into like, I, a, I think we're worried about our health. All I the think time. we're worried about our health. There's some other things I'm worried about. What else? I had this thought. So I am looking for a coffee table and tables and a rug. And so I made the rounds of some of the stores I and stores. I figured out a solution to one of our, the China problem. If we want to become less reliant on China, we really need to close down places like at home. Have you been to the store at home? Yes. There's five aisles of pillows. <laughs> There's 18 aisles of nasty looking tables. And it's all junk is what I'm now, trying to say. Now, there are vases that are five feet tall, like leopard, but red, red leopard. There's ugly ass shit all over that store. Now, so if we just and they're all it's all from China. Like if we want to be less reliant, like why do we have stores like this? Right. So it's just a can we get real furniture, please? Oh wait, that takes nine months to get a couch. Hey, also people here won't get paid what they could to live. So why would you build furniture? True. But we could build factories here. You're like it's too expensive to make in America. I'm like, is it because you're paying minimum wage? But let's for not everything. give. Let's not do food stamps and let's not do yeah. it. But. Okay. I'm just like, I was I hate so everybody. mad walking around at home. Like this, the whole store, so, I didn't buy anything because I'm like, it's all junk. All I have gotten stuff from there and it's actually oh. now in, in this house. Oh, so I'm not actually a fan. Is it at home? It's called at home. No, sorry. I'm thinking home goods. I haven't been there yet at home. Yeah, that is okay. At home I'm is now like, with the process it's the size of, of a like, super Walmart. Yes. It's massive. And I just like, Pushed a cart around and was like staring down the aisles like, oh, Did you go through the artwork? none of this. Yeah, I went through the artwork. It There's was, some good ones, though, babe. There was some stuff, but, but like, most of it was like mirrors. Everything has like mirror, <laughs> mirror background. Cheap, like cheap hot glued mirrors. Like, diamond everything shaped like, mirrors and like Everything jewels. you see there, it looks like it's made with hot glue. Yeah, I'm like, why is this being sold? I really don't know. So they, t yeah. Bedside lamps with like mosaic stuff on it. Now, at Christmas, mosaic. you should go check it out, though. And okay. Halloween, you should go check it out. Oh, uh, because they have all that. Nick knack paddy wax. Nick knacks. Nick knack waddy packs. Waddy packs. Paddy smacks. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, gobstoppers. God. God stoppers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, okay. home is horrifying. But I just like didn't know if anyone else out there has yeah. ever been to these stores and just thought the same thing. But like, we have so much junk in this country. Yeah, like that's unnecessary. There's so many stores like that. I even went to World Market and I'm not bashing on because they have a lot of nice stuff that they I do. Like. But they also have aisles of just stuff we don't need. Yeah. Stuff you do not need. No one should need. It's called America. Just, I know. It's I'm just disgusting. concerned. I'm like, but who? I'm like, I want to meet the people who are buying this stuff. And what are they? Where are they putting it? So because I could not imagine it in any home at all. Like and maybe a fun. I house. mean, I think that zebra is from at home. OK. And that's <laughs> why it's in here. Well, Yeah. But it's not out where, like, everyone's going to see it. And that's the point. Like, in a room where everyone can see it, I would not put that zebra. Yeah, you're right. I'm not on that's a disgusting. safari. I'm not in Africa. Oh, girl. And that's on God. And that's on God, period. I Sorry. I just, I was like, I need to rant about this because I was so pissed while I was there. Let's take a quick break. Let's take a break. 
Hydronic Hydration. Founders yes, of Gay. Yes, Mama. He was yes. working during the pandemic. Started developing constant headaches. <gasps> That's why he created Hydronic Hydration. Sugar-free, keto-friendly, plant-based, antioxidant-rich electrolyte powder packets for daily use. Containing all the essential vitamins and minerals with a refreshing taste. If you're having trouble with eating and drinking healthy during your busy day in 2022, but want a sugar-free, keto-friendly vitamin drink, give Hydronic Hydration a try. There are 30 electrolyte powder packets in a powder. Ouch. Perfect for a one month supply. H Y D R O N I Q U E Hydration dot com. Hydration dot com. Hydronic Hydration on Amazon.com. They are offering a $10 discount coupon at checkout for the next week. Hydronic Hydration on Amazon.com. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Oh, we're ready, babe. Wow. All right. Question of the week. I'm 33 and currently in burnout mode. Anyone else in that slump? Mm. Yes, bitch. Okay. I feel like I'm just floating through, not really feeling anything. I have been bartending part-time for the last six years while also being a flight attendant for the last three. COVID has changed my love for both my jobs into, and lately I'm just feeling lost. A big part of me wants to go back to school for radiology or school to be a pilot. I'm just so lost at how I can do anything besides being stuck in my current jobs. I can't move back home because my family lives in the state of, or the sticks of Iowa, and there is no schooling for either nearby. Have any of you managed to go back to school in your 30s while still supporting yourself? I feel like this time is supposed to be my happy-go-lucky, fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants time in life, but I'm just burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Quit playing with the fucking soundboard! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna be so gold! <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be the, that's gold. Uh, that's the promo, honey. I am like, can you stop touching the fucking? This gun? poor person's like, I'm feeling burnt out. And you're like, whoa, let's play a cloud noise. <laughs> And I'm just looking up like, wow. Oh, fuck. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> our listeners sent a question. I just in. feel like it's a multiple questions. And I don't know if we're at the capacity to answer all six of them. We are. Okay. okay. So he's saying, does anybody else feel like they're burnt out or in a slump? Bobby's yes. been in a, it's like called, an eight year slump. Sweetheart. It's, it's called, called your thirties. <laughs> no. It's like I'm 33 and in burnout mode. You kind of think. Get used to it. Yeah. Like, yeah. This Wait is. you hit 37. This isn't burnout mode. This is mode. This is mode. This, this is, is just mode. And what's sad is this is the modest mode you're going to be because as you age yeah, the mode gets modier it gets fucking turned off oh your light starts to dim and you die <laughs> yeah it is kind of like i don't know i feel like i don't know I, i'm 34 <laughs> you bitch quit playing with your mental soundboard oh oh and that's on god. <laughs> and that's on god period yeah 33 you're gonna feel burnout but i think we've all felt burnout lately with yeah. covid with everything yeah like, i think that's really a big part of it too you look at your life and you're just like is this it am i gonna do anything else like but bartending and a flight attendant like you're getting a lot of dick lots of dick. lots of dick i mean you got hey what time do you get off your shift and then the flight attendant every town you go in is a brand new grinder so like total oh i have some to say flight attendants grinder. are the biggest whores can we just stay whores. like i mean and i'm not kidding when we we're no, we're Vegas, not whore shaming but yeah they're all over because they just the do the layover were messaging me and i'm yeah. like hey hey i'm in for a what like, do they call at it at least five we're like i'm just here for a i'm deadheading hours. tomorrow <laughs> yeah, de <laughs> deadheading on what are they you called? <laughs> isn't it called like that there's some called like edheading or deadheading Deadheading is when you end, at, stop at a destination. I so think. I, I'm deadheading back to Atlanta, and that means that's where they're going. And then they're done. But there. I thought the deadhead was like that's where they like could throw them in even like the flight attendant seats. I've never heard of that. Okay, are you okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, maybe. oh my god, you wanted Vegas, babe. But this person wants to go back to school for radiology or school to be a pilot. I mean, these are no, ambitious. These are, these are these are time consuming for a thirty-three-year-old. This is You're years. You're going to be middle forties. If you want to be a radiologist, that's like what med school and then residency after. I mean, we're talking we're eight to ten years. Yes, depending on yeah. And then a pilot, you have to like fly for eight your to ten license, years, <laughs> and then you have to get your miles in. Yeah, like when you say pilot, do you mean for Delta or for like a private jet or on your own for fun? On your own for fun as a hobby. I feel like they want a job. It's going to be hard to become a radiologist or a pilot. I feel like let's not put all of our yeah. worth into our jobs <laughs> and our careers. Agreed. But that, they feel stuck in their jobs, so they want to move. I think a lot of people feel stuck. Yeah. So get a new we job. We all feel stuck. It's either you don't like your job, you don't like your city, but one of them is bothering you, and you need to figure that out. 
And then they asked, do you know anyone who's managed to go back to school in your 30s? I do not. I did become an adult learner for a second, but then... You went to Yale for one class online. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Like, you took one online course at Yale. You fucking bitch. Whoa, You're like, girl, I up. became an adult learner. I'm like, what did you learn to read? You learned to say one new word this week? I passed calculus Indictive. finally. You did not. Yes, I did. I swear to God. When? 2014, 2015. <laughs> I was in school, babe. Why did you have to pass calculus? I was trying to get, to get your GED. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch. I have some, you know, on the, on the things that were like some college. That's what I checked, babe. Oh my God. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Some college. <laughs> it's a status. We're the ones that are not. Yeah. It's That's bad. sad. Some college. So I think that that's a good question, though. Feeling stuck. I think yeah. I think we feel stuck. I think you hold on tight because we're all we're all feeling. And old. Bobby is stuck in that chair. And literally, my ass is so fucking glued. <laughs> I can't move, and it's fine. <laughs> this is like him on the side of the highway trying this to get where in his to car. Lay down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is where this I is lay the down. Point of the recording yeah. where he wants to lay down but can't. I'm like, can we lay down? <laughs> You're smart. I'm so smart. Unpopular opinion from the internet. Uh, 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 unpopular uh. opinion from the internet. You hate the internet part. I know. I'm like, why does it have to be everything <laughs> from the internet? Why do we just say that? <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Do I sound like a like a like, boom, like a boomer? <laughs> it's from the internet. I'm uh-huh. like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's not like you're okay. No. Ranch. Ranch dressing is disgusting, <gasps> and people who put it on everything are savages. Why? <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> the profil. Oh my god, I can't say that word. The prophylactic. Why the prolification? I can't say that word right now. Proliferation? Why the proliferation of ranch? Proliferation. Dress? Yeah, I can't say that fucking word. Some college. <laughs> that's, that's some college. Some college. college. <laughs> I really could. I think it's my state of mind. That New York state of mind or whatever. <laughs> now you're in New York. Ranch dressing is everywhere. Yes. It used to be just limited to salads where some where people would dump copious amounts on it. <laughs> to the extent that it was just ranch dressing with some lettuce. Now it comes with pizza, or worse, on pizza. Chicken wings, breadsticks, mac and cheese. Just the sight and smell of it makes me gag. Someone should open up a ranch dressing with everything restaurant. They would be millionaires. So that's an unpopular opinion, in my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. Because we all love ranch, baby. Everybody loves ranch. I think I don't know a single person who doesn't. And and we are from Ohio. So let's be real here. Obviously, everyone in Ohio loves ranch. I mean, we're fat as fuck. I mean, anybody in the South likes ranch. Well, not. So it's basically the whole United States. The obesity belt. (laughs) The obesity belt loves ranch. And that's fine. It used to be the Bible belt. It's not anymore. It's just the obesity belt. (laughs) Christianity leads to obesity. Oh, my God. Uh, Once Jesus saves you, you get thick. That's right, because you don't have to worry about anything anymore because the Lord has got you in their heart. My Lord got me. God. My ever-fearing God. (laughs) I can't. But ranch, especially harvest ranch. I mean, really, we're going to do I would, like, hound dogs. Oh, my God. There's, like, a ranch. There should be a ranch contest. I agree. Like, there's some really good ranch in the city. Columbus is a ranch capital. I want to say it kind of is. I want to say. Because nobody ever really brings out, like, the generics. No, we don't do. And if we do, it's going to be Hidden Valley. Don't worry. Yeah. The Northeast, though, not ranch people. Really? Yeah. It's bad ranch. Sick. Yeah. It's not like Southern ranch. What's the South like? That buttermilk. Buttermilk. Culture. Thinking if ranch did that. I think I can't burp because of my medications that I took. Well, that's a good point. Did you ever get that medicine you can't pronounce for nausea? <laughs> no, I only have one left. You're though. like, I need the. Um... I have the. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> what is it? Pophilam. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Pophilam? No. Dofran? Yeah. 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 That's what I have in the bathroom. I have one tab left for an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> That's like oh, drug addict <laughs> acts. Yeah. I have one left for an emergency. It's my emergency pill. <laughs> for when like, I'm puking up my lunch. Like the only re- like bridge, the only reason why you're going to ever need it is because you do it to yourself. Okay. You either this overeat or you drink too much. Like I do all the stuff that hurts me <laughs> to me on purpose. <laughs> like it makes I'm no sense. God. Period. You really do. Like if you really think about that, you're like, damn it. You're like, I just want to get fucked up and have a good time. That's how I felt Saturday in Vegas. I was like, well, this is all my fault. Oh, not you. Right. How I felt. No, same, I, was yeah. like, I was like, 
Well, I but we better go to brunch, but I feel like shit. I mean, it was bad. Like I tried to. You looked so bad. It at was brunch. so bad. You Everything so bad. was so. I, like I, I was just not feeling good. But we did record the episode that day, which is fucked up because <laughs> I was like, I was really high there, and you were great. And oh, am I not great now? No, because you're no. high now too. <laughs> now, and to be honest, if you want to be with a big man, you got to act like a big man. And that's right. And that's on God. And that's the unpopular opinion of the week. I'm going to play my theme song one last time. Unpopular opinion from, from the, the internet. internet. Oh. <gasps> I almost said shouty on the internet. I'm not even going to embarrass myself. <laughs> you're such a boomer. I um, am. And you're a boomer. I am. Now, I have a question for you, not from the internet, not from a listener. From your head? Yes. I was thinking about this. I'm scared. The other day, I'm like, if you could hibernate, would you? Yes. Yeah. Like, I mean, for weeks at a time. Like, I'm not okay. talking hibernate for a day. I mean, like, a couple weeks, maybe you're just gone. And we're like, where's Bobby? He's hibernating. Now, and he's just, can you you're define? You're out in the room. That's it. And I get and cable. You, and you lose weight while you're like that because you're not eating. So you're just like out, asleep, two weeks <sighs> gone. I would like that. And you wake up, two weeks have passed, and that's that. You're skinny and you. You're way skinnier. But you also miss two weeks. Of your life. Of your life. What if your mom dies in the middle of the two weeks? You're hibernating. You don't know. Oh, that's fucked up. But but you said yes. I said yes because I would also hibernate. I mean, it sounds amazing. It's can like we a do two like week now? diet. Are can you we kidding? just do that for like a week here? No, I want to because I felt I looked around. I'm like, it's cold out. There's nothing going on. Right. I don't want to go anywhere. Right. So I could just lay down. This is hibernation, babe. And Welcome hibernate, to Ohio. But we don't lose the weight. Cause right. We, we gain eat. Yeah, because we're like, oh, oh, I'm so inside. Cheese. I made grilled cheese twice this week. Stop. I mean, honey, I'm going to have to make soup, soup and grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. What? what? Why? <laughs> Boomer. Okay, I have some other things. I do too. Get to it, bitch. Wait, did I say something already? Yeah. Oh my God, that's Love, really fucked up. My next thing was everyone deserves to be alone sometimes. Oh. But like that's like hibernation. Like that's what I mean. Like everybody needs to have Is a this reset. Because Michael's leaving soon. I'm like, that's you're like everyone deserves to be alone. We all deserve it. You're gonna put June in puppy camp, and you're gonna sleep the no, but I was, all day. I was thinking about somebody. I think somebody like who has kids. They're just never alone. I couldn't do it. I could never do it. Oh, I need some quiet time. You don't. And then get you get it. quiet time. And you don't know what to do because all you're doing is thinking about what the fuck they're doing. I can't do it. I can't imagine having kids. I'm just gonna say it. And that's one thing about good about being gay there's very few things right there's the dicks there's the ass play that you hate and then not having kids that's such a good thing about being gay and everyone's like oh well, there's some gay people with kids like let's stop like why they don't need them but i think it's a fun thing to do to share with somebody i would like to have a kid really you wouldn't do well with a kid you have a very short temper. Well, it would change my entire and life. You, yeah, it would. We'd have to get rid of this. Oh, for sure. You'd be doing diapers all day. Yeah, this would be the baby's room. This would be the baby's room. If it's a mess. And then they're going to grow up and assault someone. And yeah, this is, like <laughs> <laughs> this is like a padded room. There's like It's like a padded room with Van Gogh well, on the back. I mean, Whoa, girl, kids stop. are kids are a mess. They suck. Having kids suck. Sorry. I'm not sorry. It's a fact. Do you know how many straight couples I'm like? Do you guys want to go, like, get a drink? Just grab one oh, drink. we don't have a sitter. We'll only be gone for 45 minutes. We don't have a sitter. We've already used a sitter this I'm week. I'm like, well, it doesn't bother me. I'm still going. <laughs> like, Do you know how many events we have to, like, create? Work around. Work around the straights with kids. I know. It's always working around the fucking straights. They're like, well, can we make it um, Wednesday night instead? I'm like, no. Friday night's better because most people don't work Saturday. <gasps> so it's like, let's do it's Friday like terrible night. terrible to be straight. We can't do Friday night. We don't have a sitter. I'm like, ask one of your parents. I know you have, like, four of them and right. all of them want to babysit mom mom won't come watch mom can't come down that day and it's my like, sister's busy she has class it's like your fucking kids rule your life if you have kids it's, i it's really over. I, it's like, over. thinking about it actually really panicked me because i'm yep. like you don't even know who the fuck you are you because it you're all not, revolves you're around not, the kids. it's only the kid you have no life and then that's why parents what are, are your so, hobbies i don't have a um, hobby kids staying alive i have to get the sleep huh? in. i have huh? to get my sleep in when i can I have to go to the grocery store, sneak away when I can. How do you even shower with a kid? If they're walking around, touching things, yeah, sticking, like, sticking fingers in outlets on the wall. Like, you gotta like chain them up. You have to lock the bathroom door and put them in a cage while you shower? A playpen, babe. Or if you have a baby and it just won't stop crying while you, you need to go to the bathroom and shower. Like, like you I, need to take the worst shit of your life and here yeah. you are, like your baby's crying, sucking your tit and you're like, do I shit with the baby on my, my tit? My partner told me this story. He had awful diarrhea one day. It just hit him. Yeah, and they are walking around a Walmart and my stepson was like four years old, three or four years old. 
awful diarrhea. Boom. He has to go. So he drops all the groceries, leaves them in a cart in like a random aisle, runs to the bathroom with my stepson, <gasps> has to shut the bathroom door with my stepson in the bathroom with him because he can't leave him alone. Right. Because he'll wander off or get stolen. It's a Walmart and has diarrhea. Terrible, terrible diarrhea. And my stepson is just standing in the bathroom, apparently going, "Ooh, dad, it stinks. <laughs> Saying that over and over and over in the bathroom. No. <laughs> Can you imagine uh, no. this? And so everyone it's walking horrifying. in hears a little kid screaming, ooh, dad, it stinks. And that's when he came out. And that's when he knew he was gay. All gays have IBS. That's another thing. <laughs> that's another problem. Yeah, all gays have IBS. Like, but, wow. I mean, isn't this... Yeah. Kids are just... Kids are just annoying. Kids are annoying. I love them. I love my nephews. They're so cute. I love my niece and nephews, but I don't want them in my house. Like, yeah, ever. Yeah, like, for more than half It's like hour, I get tired. Half hour. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so tiring. They, they always want to play. They always want to do something else. Yeah, They're it's like, like, can you actually, sit down and shut the fuck let's just, up? We can just watch a movie, maybe? But, yeah, like... But the, not the movie you want to watch. Like We need to watch that six-hour-long cartoon so mom can sleep for six hours. Yeah, <laughs> like, on the couch. On the oh, couch. dad took a nap. <laughs> yeah, dad's about to kill himself if he doesn't it's nap. It's bad. It's fucking bad. Mom's always make fun of dads for not doing enough and like oh he didn't take the kids anywhere or do anything with them it's like yeah he's trying to stay alive right he's actually yeah dad's trying to dad just like mom is fighting for his life dad's fighting he's fighting the good fight i can't believe i just went on a kid rant i just really can't with kids no now they're adorable they're adorable they're not dogs you might have someone to take care of you in your old age see that's where i'm getting a little fearful i'm not We'll just be robot. They'll be robot like nurses by the time we're in fucking. Literally at that point, it's going to be fine. We'll be on drugs. We'll probably be alive. They'll probably anti-age us. And then we'll like, can you imagine if we take a pill that would make you younger again? Can you imagine? I don't want to. Oh. These, those 11s in your forehead, they're not going away. Bitch, that's rude. Because I really need to get them filled. Yeah, we do need to fill. We need to work on this. I know. I feel like I look older. You do. It looks a little <laughs> pockety. <laughs> Pockety. There's some pockets. Like a pocket pussy. That's just that's just head fat. Pock marks. <laughs> I do have a pock mark. You have some pock marks. I got chicken pox late in life. Eighth grade. Oh, really? Eighth grade? Yes. <laughs> you were that kid. I was so delayed. Yeah. I was. We know. So. We can tell. So kids. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Wow, that's like a bold take. Sorry. I know. Sorry, straights. I didn't, Sorry, hate straights, us. but we love straights and we, and we love their kids. We respect you. And honestly, without straights, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. So thank you for your services. Really. I mean, I, do we really want to be here? Like they need a holiday for. Just, thank you for forcing oh, that's us Mother's to and exist. Father's Day. <laughs> Mother's and Father's Day. They already have a holiday. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. Em. Fuck them. And that's what Easter. It's Easter. That's what Easter's for. Yeah. Okay. Do you have something? Yeah, I have. A, I have two more things that I have. Okay, because I have some things. I'm trying to do. think of like how I want to present this. So. Really quickly, Grinder this week has been out of control, as we've said earlier, I think, in the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I have boys just, like, coming on to me and all this stuff. Now... Um, you really do. Now, I learned a new... Thank you. I, a lot of people don't think I'm... Attractive? Capable. Oh. Oh. Wait, what did you say? Capable. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's what but I But a lot of say. people, even with, like, six-packs, they're like... Hey, I'm like, boy. do you like a bear? And they're like, oh, I fucking love a bear. They want, like, a daddy bear. So, regardless, I've learned some things while browsing, though. And here's a fact. The third picture somebody has on their grinder is their real self. Oh, is that a thing? In my opinion, they put the first one is really good. So it doesn't even really look like the, how they really Hot-ish. look. Hot-ish. Okay. Then Second you have is. another one that's like hot, but you're like, look a little more relaxed. Okay. The third one is the one where you're trying to be like candid, but that's the one. That's the one where the bad teeth come out. That's the one. And no offense, but I'm just saying like, that's the one where the belly starts showing. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that though. It was like a it's trend. It's a trend. It's the teeth. But like grinder, it's like, you could think somebody is so hot in the first picture. You swipe. You're you swipe. Like, you're like, okay, you're so hot. hot. And, and then it's like, like one more time. You're like, fuck no. Or it's confirmed. He is hot. Or you have an instant erection. Right. And then you're like, oh shit. I also, whoa, girl. Whoa, fuck. Girl, fuck. Yeah. So that's what I noticed. I just wanted to say that. I didn't realize I've. I need to update my grinder because I put my third pick first. And so that's maybe why. That's probably why you're not getting attention. That must be the reason. That's why you're getting the flight attendants, babe. Oh, my God. When you're when, you're, when you're in town only for about six hours, you got to get quick money. Quick money. I'm not charging. This pussy's free. <laughs> this pussy is free. This pussy is free. Oh, yes, baby. Give, Give it, it to there me. There you go. So you're getting those mm, honey. Honey. Cunny, honey. Cunny, honey. So I had a few, a couple dreams this week that really like I still remember in okay. detail. One of them, I was in, I think it was you and me, but you were a small, skinny. you were a skinny <laughs> woman, actually. <laughs> You were a skinny woman, and I think your name was still Bobby, but with an I. And I E or just I? Just I. Oh wow. Because like sassy. Like woman Bobby. And 
so we were doing like you were the singer and I was kind of like a dancer with you. <laughs> we were doing performances. <laughs> So we were touring and we were in some like small er town. <laughs> but I'm a skinny woman, right? Is that what you're saying? You were a skinny woman. And you're the backup dancer. So like I'm Gaga and you're. And we were like doing things okay, <laughs> on the stage, like performing is what I would say. And the audience was watching. They loved it. They're they all facing us. us. So we're on a stage. They're all facing. And now we're getting paid for this. What? Or are we getting paid for this? Oh, like, yeah, this no, yeah. This was like a tour. Okay. And so some of the backup dancers, one of them started um, like dancing with me on the stage. And he was being very sensual. And this is all a dream. This is all a dream. And so he's being very sensual. He's touching me as we're moving. He's very slow. His hands are going down lower. So basically his hands go down my pants as we still continue to dance. Okay. On my ass. Okay. So, so then back. middle finger touching my hole. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, wow. So like we just keep dancing a little bit. And then I notice he keeps doing that. So finally, he just like turns me around, pushes me down and starts rimming me on the stage. This is a dream in the dream. Yeah. Why? <laughs> this is not real life. I keep thinking it's real life. Well, it felt like real life. <sighs> so I'm getting rimmed on stage in front of everyone in the audience. People are like some people are like, whoa, whoa. Like, yeah. Am I, now, what am I doing at this moment? Do you remember? You where kept I was? <laughs> singing. You kept like I'm just softly like, <laughs> singing into the mic. Like I got a little quieter. Like, yeah. A little quieter. But you were like watching like, whoa. Oh, he's getting So this kept going tonight. on. And then I was like, oh, he's using his hands again, not just his tongue. OK. So then he fingers. He puts two fingers in. OK. Oh, no. You had in a front of this dream. Day, in front of this and on the stage still. <laughs> No, he pulls out his middle finger and there's a tiny little brown speck of poop on it. And I panicked. Whoa, girl. Like he didn't even, he did not notice it, but I did. And I was like, oh, uh, so I like suddenly tried to like turn over onto my back. was like, okay, well that was great. And everyone's clapping on in the audience because they thought it was over. Like they thought that was the performance. And I was just like, I gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. So I like grabbed his finger to like. Try to Ew. get the poop. Off. I mean, it was such a small speck. It wasn't like a chunk, but I had I had to get it off because I didn't want to ruin the experience. Oh, uh, like I'm like he'll never do this again to me. <laughs> I was so worried. That is, and for some reason, <laughs> I'm in You're there still singing as a woman who's skinny. Yeah, you were beautiful. Oh, <laughs> so we know it's a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right. And I'm pooping on fingers, yeah, which like, is like not a dream. Right. That's so, regular. Have you ever pooped on a finger? No, thank God. On a cock? Yes. Yeah. I think we've all been there and done that. It was my first time. I had no idea what I was doing. No prep. <laughs> like, I didn't like poop poop, but it was like, I was like, oh, let me get a towel. That is disgusting. Just wipe this dick down. Like, <laughs> I'm not putting that in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head to the show. Anus to mouth. <laughs> like, no, nah, not in this case. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's goddamn funny. So that was one dream. The other dream I had, this straight guy was staying over at my house. Like, he was visiting in town. I think he was, like, a friend of a friend. They didn't have a place to stay, so they stayed over my house. Yeah. And I, like, woke up in the morning to get ready for work, go to work. I'm, like, brushing my teeth. I, I'm, like, oh, why is that, like, the light's on in his bedroom? The door was shut. But I, like, opened the door and looked at him, like, hey, is everything okay? Like, are you are you still heading out today? Like, I might not see you. I'm, I'm going to work. When I get back, you might be gone. He's like, oh, yeah, thanks, bro. And he like, you know, like, like did like this, like a hug type thing, like stood up, mm -hmm. wanted a hug. He's just wearing gym shorts, shirtless. I'm like, oh, wow. OK, he looks pretty good. And then like. So if he was fat, you would have. <laughs> 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 no, he was like not oh, he thin, good. but he looked good. And so he like laid back on the bed and then he was like, I noticed he was hard. And I was like, oh, did you? I said, did you have a good dream? <laughs> And I'm like in a dream saying, did you have a good dream? Oh, weird. These are my, my uh, dreams are always like lucid. Vivid. Like I can say what I want to say in the dream too. So I'm like, did you have a good dream? Man, he's you like, some good meds. He's like, yeah, I, I did. I, I did have a good dream. Those quaaludes that you have to do. Quaaludes? What am I? Bill Cosby? Oh my God. Wait, uh, <laughs> girl. Fuck. So he pulls down his shorts a little bit. Oh, you see the top, top part. No, his dick was like 10 inches. Now, it wasn't no, thick, no. but it was like thinner. Oh, you so I was just like, oh, wow. I'm like, damn, bro. So I like get on the back <laughs> and start gagging on that dick. And he's pushing my head down on it. And I'm not choking. And then lettuce came up on But I'm not dick. choking. I think I'm nervous about choking on a dick, like actually gagging and vomiting on a dick. Now, I am controversial when it comes to that, but I don't really think that um, sucking dick, you have to put it down your throat. 
You don't like throat fucking. No, I can get you off real quick. Not even really going that far down. Oh, well, that's what I think I can. Uh, I can do that, too. But like, I, I don't think I want to try to throat fuck and I, <laughs> I'm worried I'll throw up. Like, um, actually, actually, I have a, a friend day. that does this. She would lay on her bed backwards and yeah. then. Yep. Head over the edge. Yep. And she loves it. Loves it. Only wants it. I need to try it. I just feel like that's just not for me. Because I'm already afraid of choking on things. I think I'm going to throw up, though. I'm really like, I feel like if I've eaten or had anything to drink in the past, like several hours, you're going to hit something and it's just like stomach's going to go. It's time to come up. He's trying to th- throw like up. that. Yeah, that's I was exactly. doing the sound effect. Yeah, I'm going to burp on someone's dick. Well, it might actually kind of feel good. Ew. Be warm. Sick. <laughs> so those were my couple dreams just from the past so few poop days. poop finger, long 10 inch cock. Yep. Gagging. Gagging. Not gagging. I so guess. anytime I like have an apnea moment, <laughs> which is probably makes sense why I'm choking. Um, I always feel like I'm choking. So like when I have nightmares and stuff, it's always me. I'll wake up and go and like be choking. We really need your sleep study to happen. Oh, so I got approved apparently, okay, but, but is it? I don't know. They're like, we're going to, once they send it out, you'll get it. You'll get it. I'm like, is this going to be like a furniture piece? Is it going to be six months from now? Or is it like next week? Cause I need to get the shit. It should come in August. It comes in December. Like, well, that's how shirts are right now too. What? I have a shirt that I bought before Thanksgiving that has now been delayed till May. Just May. a t-shirt. It was a, a hoodie, a certain color. Holy shit. Yeah. It was like the, what? one of the off colors, but whatever. Well, and that's why you don't pick those, but. No, it was cute. It was do, like rustic. You and do like, you. Well. Are we like good? We're or? good. I just need to say one more thing, though. I have one more thing, but like. God, we're so chatty. Is this bad? No. I mean, you don't have to. I can save it for next week. It's not a well, long thing. It's a short thing. But. Uh, mine's short, too. Okay, you do yours. So mine kind of actually goes with the, the listener who wrote in the question. Okay. So oh, no. I was in the car, and I put on, like, random music, like, from 2000s and 99. <laughs> like, that area. So when I was in high school. That area. Okay. And a song came on, and I felt good, and I felt ready to go, and I had energy, and I felt alive. Oh, my God. Like, you were teenager or night or bombs over one. baghdad by outcast what bombs over baghdad damn now that song i'm like i haven't heard that in decades i had a moment though <clears throat> where then i'm like it's the wonder after like 30 you kind of die in sign because you really can't recreate that magic that music does for you when you're in your like teens and your late 20s that's why you never can get away from that so i was almost like why do we why is the social no- oh my god i'm going deep and you're like playing with your mustache it's freaking me out oh i don't like that look honey you can't are you gonna really start doing that like this Ew. it doesn't do it don't worry you look like a ulysses s grant <laughs> You're such a bitch. I don't even know who that it's is. On the fifty dollar bill, like fuck you. Oh yeah, you're like you're Abraham Lincoln on the penny, you fucking whore. Yeah. Wow. Trash. That's you're, right. You know the things I throw away because I don't want them. <laughs> That's you. Whoa, girl. Fuck. Had to say it. All right. So you can't recreate any happiness in your life. No, but it's really scary because music really does something to you, but you lose the magic of music once you hit a certain age. So it's like your same shit recycled over and you'll never get it again. You will never get it again. Never. Ever? You might. It's going to be a divorce song or like something adult oh. that's like terrible, like losing someone Oh, you, you mean because there's no more big events in your life, like with a soundtrack to it? Sort of, I think. Maybe that is why. That's Maybe why. that is why. But like music is just so much more impactful when you're a kid. Like you can put memories with songs and you're like I think because a lot of changes are happening and then you feel like you hit an age where no changes happen so like ever again. starting around 25 you start like being like, like what okay and then you start like, not understanding the music that's coming out because you're like this is not connecting with me because it's not supposed to because you're sealed up baby and it's like even a road trip you're like there's no road trip music anymore because I hate road trips right I hate being in the car and I think that's why I'm so it used to be like oh we're going on a trip I know Let's drive out on a trip and you me- I had a soundtrack that I would listen to oh my god same every time driving to Chicago and now it's like I don't listen to that anymore right and now have you thought about going back and listening to some of that that's what i'm that's yes. what I'm, basically that's what i'm trying to tell everybody to do i can transport myself back to college undergrad right now. right i can like freshman year i can go transfer my back myself back to some college oh <laughs> some college some. check check period it's weird you can be transported back i'm serious like do it but the bad comes with the good like i can get transported sure. back before i was like out out before i was well, happy that's the, and that's but like it was like fun but it was also a really bad time and then I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> then I feel fake 
Like, I feel like my whole life was faked. It was. And that's how I feel. I'm looking back. I'm like, no wonder I was such a bitch. Like, I'm seven years into my non-fake life, which is really sad. It's so short. Such a short time. You'd think you'd have a soundtrack now that would transport. Well, I do. There are some songs now when I first came out when I was a baby gay and that... When they play, I think of certain events. They used. No. Everybody get up. Do, 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 uh, like Robin Thicke. You know you want yep. it. You know I want it. Da, ga, ga. Oh, when he was like groping the girls on the set basically, of the video. Basically, so, like, basically. He's Isn't that when it. he like molested Miley yeah. Cyrus? Yeah, yeah, he did. Weird. He, was, he was not good. Not good guy. But I'm glad it really defines a moment for you. But it did. Like it did. But then now it's like like Coldplay. Oh, the whole album is Michael. So that was like a defining moment when me and Mike were getting close to like midnight living together magic. and being in the same city oh it's so oh, a sky full of stars i've heard that yeah wow you really went with like a bad album for that but that's okay i'm glad you know there was connected. a line that said i'll just be i'm gonna be very transparent very trans right now you're trans i'm being very trans are you, you there know? was a thing that said oh fuck what's the line i don't know basically about flying birds and like one day i want to fly with you is what it says so the symbolization of that <laughs> Symbolization is that I want to fly with Michael. You're not getting off the ground. <laughs> I'm, I'm an owl. Neither one of you is getting off the ground. Oh, honey, he's like in shape now. Is he? Yeah. Like, I'm not even kidding. Honey, you don't even know. I mean, last time you were here, you were trying to grab his dick. So, last time I was here, it was only two weeks ago. So, like, have you seen his arms? Wow. Maybe I need to feel him. You'll be surprised. Touch test. That's fine. Okay. Remember, I'm trying to go poly. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to let me suck that dick. <laughs> Who's? I don't know. Anyone's. Uh, uh, if you're going to be open, you're going to have to be open. No, you don't have to just like fully open your vagina. Uh, I just want hand stuff anyways. There's no way Michael's dick's going to fit in my mouth. Uh, it's such a chore. It's too big. Yeah, it's, there's no. I can't. I'm so tired of giving blowjobs. I'm really good at handies. That's like, I, I can With make you people I know. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's no, actually love, what that's so cruel. Okay, I know we're going, but I really love giving hand jobs to people jobs who and, aren't to people I don't know yet. I was actually driving home thinking today, I was like, I think I like the because people on Grinder are messaging me, it's making me feel good, but I'm kind of like, I think <laughs> I just like it's the called, thrill of the chase. Here's what I call it, and this can be the episode title New Dick Energy. It's ND NDE. NDE is NDE. what drives me. Same. I, I feel like every new dick, every new location where I'm using that dick, abusing that dick. Every place I go, I can find a new fucking ginger yep. to want to like come over to the hotel. Every new pink dick. That is how you keep your life force. If you don't find a new dick every once in a while, you're going to get drained. You're mm-hmm. going to get slowed down. You're not going to want to do it. You're not going to no, do anything. It's really kind of tough. That new dick energy just rejuvenates your life. Like, boom, you got that new dick. I boom. Know. Now, the problem is now, all the new dicks eventually become all Mold. Right, so you just gotta keep, but so then you, you have become to find like new ways, new places, new people. But to I think add if you in. have multiple like yeah, dicks that, well, coming in, then you can mix and match. I will those say, people. if you have an, another dick, it kind of feels new after a while. Oh. If you've been with only one dick for a while, that that other dick that may be old to you really, but it feels new. Now I like a you to take s- a dick that isn't as big. Oh, you would love it. I want a thin. You could be like pound me so fucking hard, oh. and it's just like I'm like, and I you're just like, feel. I'm taking it. It's fine. I don't even feel it, but. They feel like they are they like, oh, you can take it, baby. And, and, like, and you're like, yeah, huh, yeah I can. Actually, I can. This has yeah, been, it's fine. This is like the Holland Tunnel, honey. It's just cleared. This feels like a prostate exam in my doctor's office. This is great. I mean. This is easy. This is easy cheese. This is an easy catch. Easy cheese. That's crazy. I think we I need know. to talk more new about dick, that. Yeah, let's save new dick energy for another episode. Yeah, I think next week we're going to talk about, let's just write it down, new dick energy. Okay. And we want. I want to talk about how the chase, what is like, what is not love, but like. Why? The thrill of what the are, thrill of it. Uh, the thrill of all of it. It's such a big thrill. The thrill of grinder. The thrill of getting the attention. The thrill of meeting new dick, somebody. New pussy. Whatever you're into. The like, thrill. Yeah. New, yeah. It doesn't matter what private part you're looking for. If it's new. It doesn't matter what sex you're looking fresh, for. If it's fresh. Oh, it's not sex anymore. It's gender. I don't know what. Well, that's what we were going to talk about. Yeah, too. I can't. We'll save that for another episode. Yeah. And here we are. And here we are. Let's play with the soundboard. Just like one second. Just one little board. Yeah. Oh. Baby pussy. I feel like I'm at the eagle. That feels eagly. Oh, I want to go. I want to go tonight. How do I stop this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How do I stop this? <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I have no fucking. Clue. I felt like I was on like, like Space Mountain. It was just like, oh, that's sad. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you take a listen and give us five Take stars. a little gander and share us with your friends because we really appreciate that. Guys, on a more serious note, 
We really appreciate you. We do. And we really need you. And we need you to share with your friends. We need you to <laughs> share. Because we're tired of all these basic ass hoes telling, he fingered me. Oh, I liked it. Oh, God. Oh, my uh... God. I went to the bar. You know what happens when I take tequila shots? <laughs> I took tequila <laughs> Amber, shots. I took tequila. Amber, listen. My pussy was so wet for him. He just <laughs> slid right in. Oh, my God. This fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. So share with your fucking friends. Like, let's get over this hump of all the straight women sharing everything on the gram the tiktok right and the spotify and the apple podcast i'm just come on we don't folks. need it folks folks. <laughs> folks folks with an x yeah x folks with an x we don't need it we don't need it yeah that's it send your questions she's not doing gmail.com we have content we have a, I lot. Have a lot of content this is good i have more that we didn't even talk about i know we gotta okay I, so. I put down for next week already i have it all right everybody we love you bye have a good week <laughs> Whoa, girl, fuck. Oh. Oh, yes, baby, give it to me. <laughs> oh, fuck me on a stage. <laughs> give me that poopy finger. Oh, give me that. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> it was such a bad dream. It was a nightmare. Horrible. I've had my heart broken in two. But something's different next to you. Like my soul is set on fire But oh, I'm starting to feel tired Cause I can run but I can't hide The feelings that I know I can't keep bottled up inside